Hello, thank you for joining me. Just come down to sunny Swanage today on the Dorset coast. It's a lovely seaside town looking out across the sea towards France now. I'm going to show you something which I think is quite interesting. Most of you probably know Swanage for being home of the Swanage Railway. Hello. Um, most of you probably know Swanage for being home of the Swanage Railway. But not so many people know there's another railway here. Well, I say railway. A tramway which I thought we'd go and have a look at today. It's only going to be a quick video because I haven't got time. I've just come down on the train from Corfe Castle. So I just wanted to quickly show you this before I go back. So if you look over there, you can see that building. It's a museum and heritage centre. That's the old tram shed. Now it's not really known what used to run on it, but if you look over here, you'll be able to see there's some, still some rails in the pavement. So if you look down here, you can see there's a railway line or tramway. So it runs along here. I believe this building was the shed from what I think if I can remember from last time we see further up. So you can see the track. So if you look behind me, track going that way, track going that way. Um, I think now it's two foot six gauge and we just come up to these points. But originally it was standard gauge. So I believe it was opened in about 1858 to carry the Purbeck stone out to sea but in its latter years it was used to carry fish into sea or in from sea into the town so um, I don't think it was ever used for passengers it may have carried luggage out to ships here yeah, if you look at that building there this part's now an arcade you can see some sort of track which appears to go into it so we've just come along there there's some track more points here I thought what we'd do, we'll just follow it because it's a very pleasant place. Just follow, see where the tram once ran. So you can imagine, probably it was horse drawn. We don't think it was ever electrified or any kind of motorised carriage or carriage with locomotives were ever used on this tramway. Um, and it closed in about 1930s, but it's quite nice that some of the rails are still embedded in the pavement and you're able to walk along and and see it. I think when I finish making this video I'm going to go back there and get an ice cream because it's quite a warm day today. So yeah, um, you can see the waves crashing up in very small form. There's a big new building being built here. I don't know what that is. If anyone does then you're welcome to comment and tell me. So the track carries on. Still see the metal rails embedded into the pavement and um, I'm not sure how far it's going to go. It must go right up to the pier. We might even do all of what's still here on this tramway. Now just up there I can see a sign saying Swanage Pier. So whether the tramway will continue. Oh no, this is interesting. You look here, the metal rails run out and it goes to being stone in a slightly different colour showing you the, um, the tramway lines. And, uh, and at the time. Thank you. So it carries on to here. Looks like it goes up to that building. Whether it actually passed through that arch, I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it does, but the track carries on. So that's the entrance to Swanage Pier, which um, it's not that I don't want to pay to go in, but I don't actually have time today. So what you can see, the tramway started over there. So it ran about 100 yards along the seafront, and then it must have carried on. I'm just going to have a look, see if we can see over this wall to the pier. Um, maybe we won't be able to. This was a bit, I kind of thought, let's go and do this but I haven't actually been down here first to see what there was of it. So this is one of those videos where I'm discovering as I tell you about it. So it looks like, well, you certainly get a nice view, but the tramway came from up there, possibly terminated down there somewhere. So opened in 1858, originally to Sander Gage. It was never connected with the Swanage Railway, although the Swanage Railway once had some a tramway sidings down to nearer the sea they were never connected and then it became two foot gauge and um, 
So it's originally used to take stone out to sea and latterly to bring fish in from the sea. So from sunny Swanage on the Dorset coast, thank you very much for watching, goodbye.